Hello together. In this video I will show you an example of a web client and a web browser uh, which both uh, try to load um, a website with Ajax behind. So this is the Google Translate uh, website and there when you say okay hello hello my name is Raymond so this is something in German and we see at the, uh, at the right side that is coming in at runtime the, the result. So this is um, when you try to get uh, this stuff in your in a, on a web client then the web client will go out and simply says this uh, this URL this is a um, the website itself is um, a get example so this is when, when you type something in here then you will see the URL is changing in a get response it's not a post response <coughs> um, and at a, uh, when you use a web client the web client simply uses uh, opens this URL and gets ev everything back which is uh, there at the moment. So I start this now. I have my first example here in a <coughs> yeah. It's under uh, a translate. It's in inside of a, a word add-in. So when I run this web client, then I get the result zero. So this means when you open when I open this stuff then when I open the URL then this this stuff downloads a string and the string is empty at runtime because Google didn't uh, allow to uh, Google wants wants that people pay for the translation it, it's a service service and it's about what was it one million costs 10 euros I don't know anymore okay the second second example is browser control with a browser control you are doing the same as a re remote controlling of a default browser now when I run this one same example and I push my start button then it opens the uh, it opens the website and inside of the website yeah, that's that's the, it opens the website and inside the website it uh, it does this job and it reads back uh, the elements there so what is the browser control how does this one work we have here a, a default XAML site on in, inside the XAML site we have let's take it on the right right block it's a preview we have here a window and it's now in this case it's a WPF application and we have a start button and a browser control when I click on there it's a web browser and we load this stuff by navigate URL and then I create um, I create at runtime the event so the event goes on there when it when the browser is loaded it runs to uh, control browser uh, load complete and then I say okay that's the difference to the to the word uh, to the web client I may say here please wait a second task delay 1000 or 500 seconds uh, 500 uh, milliseconds and then get the result you can do the the same on um, on a web client and then I say okay uh, MS Microsoft HTML um, HTML document give me the document of the current browser document browser document convert it to an uh, to HTML document and there then it's quite easy and we say okay document HTML document get element by ID so, so the, the, the ID is um, 
is called result box box when you go in there make a scrutinizing and you will see the idea of this element is result box and then you get the result so that's the difference between a web browser control here it is and the uh, a classical uh, web client I will implement all those code examples on my website. You may download it and use it for your own interests.